All right, so in this video, we're going to look at starting to get some, some content for our PB&J recipe web page. Um, so we're going to look at headings and paragraphs and lists to start off with. Now we set up um, VS Code or installed it. We got our F drive folder set up, right? Um, on the, sorry, this PC, F drive, created that CS10 folder. We got our project folder in here. Yay, with all the, the, the HTML file that we're going to use, the CSS file and, and the image folder. So again, to open this up in VS Code, we can right-click on it and open with code, and that should open up the project folder, or you could have dragged the folder into here, or file, open folder, however you want to do it. Okay, so now let's start writing in this HTML document. And um, HTML, it, it's a language, right? And it has its own set of rules, just like, like English has its own set of rules, start sentences with a capital and end with a punctuation of some sort, and, and that's called the syntax of the language, right? The, the syntax or structure, the rules of the language. So when we do HTML, we want to start off with a declaration, a document type declaration. So we do this uh, exclamation mark doc type HTML. Now you'll see it was doing some autocomplete stuff. We'll talk about that in a second, but this is basically just saying to the web browser, when the web browser opens this file, it's declaring this is an HTML document, right? Now, I think this used to be more important in the past when there were different versions of HTML, um, but now they've kind of standardized things and it's HTML5. So this is just declaring to the browser, we're using the most modern version of HTML, doc type HTML. Okay, now after this, we start off with something called the root element, R-O-O-T, like tree root. Um, and it's an HTML element, and you'll notice I'm going to use this Emmet abbreviation. Um, VS Code, Visual Studio Code, is this editor that's designed for web development. So instead of to having to write these angled brackets all the time, because that's what, what HTML is, it uses all these, these angled brackets that are annoying to type. If I just type the word HTML and I can either click on this or hit tab, it automatically creates these these angled brackets where this is the opening tag and then the other set of of ang opening and closing angle brackets is the closing tag okay and together the opening tag and the closing tag um, notice the closing tag just has that slash right it has the same name but it has the, the forward slash this forms the html element right the the opening tag whatever is in between it and the closing tag is the root element and inside of our root element, our HTML element, we're going to have a head. So I'm just going to hit tab again and enter. And then below the head, we're going to have a body, right? Just like us, we have one head, we have one body. Our web pages that we create should have one head and one body inside of this HTML root element. Okay, and this is kind of the, the basic HTML page structure that we should follow. Okay, so every web page we make should follow this kind of format. Now, the head um, and the body are used for different things. The body is the visible content. What's actually, what are we going to actually see on our web page? And let's start here, actually. We're going to start with an H1. So if I type H1, well, you'll notice there's H1, H2, H3. These represent the level of heading. So this is a level 1 heading, and H2 would be a level 2 heading, a level 3 heading. So often on a web page, we're just going to have one level one heading, that's our main title, and then we're going to have two level two headings. And we're not going to go any lower than that. And each heading basically just means how important the heading is, and the browser does have some default styles that it applies to these. So we're going to do an H1, and we're going to go PB and J recipe as our main heading. Okay, now let's, let's save this. So you'll notice there's this little dot here, right, the little circle. It, and the style.cs doesn't have that. The circle means that there are unsaved changes to this document. So to make um, to save those changes, we can go File and then Save, or just hit the shortcut Control S on your keyboard. So hold Control, hit S, and you'll see that that circle goes away. Now, how do I actually view this web page? Well, we can go to our File Explorer here and find that HTML document. And, and the computer knows because it has that HTML extension, it knows, oh, this is a web page. I'm going to open it up with Chrome, my default browser, Chrome. So I click on that, and I open it up, and ta-da, there's my PB&J recipe. Okay, now I think I'm going to, let's try to put this on the side here. 
and I'm gonna put this up here. Is that close? Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, good. That way I can kind of see them side by side, and you can see if I put an exclamation mark here and hit Control S again to save it, and then I hit refresh here, you'll see it reloaded the page and it got those saved changes. So we can see our updates as, as we go here. All right, so after this main heading, let's just do a little paragraph a little introduction, you know, learn how to make a, a, a simple, this is not a complicated recipe, but that's okay. Learn how to make a simple PB and J, actually let's do the whole peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Ta-da! So I'm going to hit control S again, right, to save those changes. Hit refresh and you'll see that it created a new paragraph. Um, it's actually kind of interesting sometimes. If I were to get rid of, I'm just going to delete the H1s here. And I'm going to delete the P tags. And let's just have it look like this and refresh. And you're going to see that it just it just says, okay, inside of my body there's just a bunch of text and it just throws the text all in the same line. Right? Even if I were to go a bunch of spaces here, HTML just ignores those empty spaces and just says, you know what, you're just doing a bunch of text. I'm just going to put a bunch of text here. Um, and I should spell sandwich right. Okay. So the reason we have these tags, I'm just hitting Control Z to undo. Got to redo my fix there, though. Um, these, these elements, these H1 tags and the P tags, um, these elements tell the web browser, oh, this text is a heading. So please make it bigger and bold and have, give some space above and below it and put everything else on the next line. And then same thing with a paragraph, right? A paragraph says, well, this should be its own little paragraph. Give some space between it and anything else. All right, so it's called a markup language. And, and together, this each one opening um, tag, then the, the actual title itself, and then the closing tag, this entire thing forms an H1 element. Right? This is a paragraph element that has an opening P tag, the actual paragraph content, and then the closing P tag. Okay? And that's how we structure our HTML elements so the web browser knows the heading starts here and ends here, the paragraph starts here and ends here. Because the next thing we want to do is an H2, which is going to be a heading for the ingredients. And let's refresh to see that. Okay. So an H2 is still bold and it takes its own space, but it's a little smaller by default. Okay, and we can, once we learn CSS, we can change colors and fonts and sizes and stuff too, but this should still be a, a level two heading. Okay, and then let's actually make another H2 um, instructions. Instructions, there we go. Refresh and you see the other level two heading. All right, awesome. Underneath these, we're going to do lists. I'm going to start off with a UL. Yeah, a UL stands for unordered list. And inside of this UL, we do these LI elements. List items is what they stand for. LI, list item. And my ingredients are simply two slices of bread. Ta-da! I'll let you choose whether it's white or brown. Uh, two slices of bread. We need some peanut butter. Peanut butter. Yay! And then another LI, um, jelly. And I'm going to do a little recommendation. You can do whatever jelly you want, but I'm going to recommend grape jelly. Really good. Control S to save again. Hit refresh. Ta-da! Two slices of bread, peanut butter, jelly. Yay. Okay, and then the instructions. We're going to do something very similar. Um, we're going to do an OL this time, though. An OL stands for an ordered list. So in an unordered list, you could see that there was just these bullets. Um, but an ordered list is going to make these numbers because it's ordered. Again, we have a list item. We're going to say, <laughs> what, are, what are the instructions to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Uh, let's start by layout, 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 two slices of bread. Okay, enter. Then um, spread peanut butter on one slice. Another list item, spread jelly on the other slice. Or I guess you could put the jelly on top of the peanut butter. I think it's nicer to do on either side. I'm just going to hit N to go to the next line. And last but not least, um, put the two slices together. All right, save that. 
So the last season knows the one, two, three, four because it's an OL, right? So that's the difference between an ordered list and an unordered list. All right, and I think that's the main content we were going to talk about this time: headings, paragraphs, and lists. Oh yeah, and I guess I, I don't. I'll throw another paragraph in here just so you can see. Blah blah blah. And what you should notice is, yeah, each paragraph kind of starts on its own new line. Um, I'm not going to actually do that for this website, but if you're making your own websites, yeah, each paragraph kind of gets its own own space there. Okay, so that's a start for our, our HTML content. Quick review here, remember the HTML page structure, where we have the, the declaration, this root element, right, the HTML. Then we, oh, we have our head, which is empty, and then our body. The body is all the visible content. All right, let me quickly talk about the head. The head is for information about the website. The most common thing to put in here is just the title. That's what we're going to do. PBNJ recipe. Now, you'll notice that it's like, doesn't that, isn't that the, the H1? But this title is what uh, the browser will use to put on the, uh, the tab here. And if a search engine, if we published our website, a search engine would use this title to display in the results. So there, change the PBNJ recipe. Okay. And then, yeah, we've got these heading elements, these paragraph elements, another heading, H2 element, these lists with the list items in it. All right. Hope that made sense. All right. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.